Good morning and welcome to a full day of eating. Today I'm going to show you how a full day of eating with 5,000 calories look like. Here you have the macros. Oh boy, we're going to eat a lot of food today. And if the audio sounds different today, I'm very sorry. That's because I managed to break my microphone. But enough rambling, let's make our first meal of the day. Okay, first meal of the day. We have rice and five eggs with some ketchup. We have two biscuits and we have a banana. And we have a glass of orange juice. Macros. So, let's eat. Let's do a time lapse in three, two, one. That took seven minutes, but you saw the time lapse, so uh, went a bit quicker for you guys. But that was the first meal. Very full, and eating those two biscuits or crackers, or uh, oh, they were so dry. They were the hardest part of this meal to eat. And now, show you this. Now, I'm going to work out then. You're going to see my next meal after a workout. Okay, we just finished up at the gym. So for our post-workout meal, we have one liter of chocolate milk, one protein pudding, and a banana. Macros, as per usual, so now, I'm gonna eat this, then I'm going home and eating another meal. Okay, third meal of the day. And before I show you this meal, let me just tell you, I'm not hungry at all. So we gotta force feed this and I'm not looking forward to it. I felt pretty sick after the last meal, so this one is probably going to be very hard to eat. But we're a hard gainer, so we gotta eat big to get big no excuses we just gotta get it done so what we have here is jasmine rice asparagus and beef and of course a smoothie the calories from today have been a lot of liquids and that's basically because when you eat 5000 calories every day it's very hard to get all your calories from solid food and not any liquids which is why i drink smoothies chocolate milk and uh, make some protein shakes or something. Uh, also, you saw I had a little bit of asparagus. Uh, I had two bananas today and I had this I had this pineapple and mango smoothie so that I can get some micronutrients, stay healthy, but again, I can't eat a lot of vegetables and eat very clean because clean food has less calories and are more filling so that's why I have to eat a bit more dirty than I used to do before because when I was cutting I'm eating very clean but when you're eating 5,000 calories you unfortunately have to or I have to eat less clean but we have some asparagus we have some fruits there we have eaten two bananas so we, we got some micronutrients today which is important so time lapse in three Oh, 
Yeah. Yes, <laughs> we did it. Everything is gone. We still have a little bit of smoothie left, but I'm gonna drink that while I rest, watch the rest of this video. I'm very happy because it wasn't that bad. I feel very full right now, but I'm not. I'm not feeling sick. So <laughs> that's good. Uh, yeah, we have currently eaten. 3330 calories, only 1650 left. <sighs> yeah. So, I'll probably eat two more meals. So, yeah, see you in the next meal. Okay, it's getting very late. It's almost 11 o'clock, and uh, I'm not really hungry, but we still have a lot of calories left. So, uh, I'm going to the store and I'm going to buy, buy some pizza. We are here! Let's go and buy some pizza! Okay, bros, look at this beautiful pizza. The macros, this is a lot of calories in one meal, which is just what we like. And now, I, re I really like uh, this camera placement. You can see everything. Maybe this is uh, the one I, sh maybe I'm going to switch to this. <laughs> maybe I'm going to switch to this one every time I'm gonna tell you something. But anyways, uh, I have a very high metabolism, a fast metabolism as you already know, but I also eat extremely fast. If I'm going to eat slowly, I have to focus and concentrate a lot. Which is why I thought it would be fun to time how how to set a timer to see how how long I will use to eat this pizza. So, uh, I've already prepared a YouTube video, the pizza is right here, I have my headset, so let's start eating the fourth meal of the day, I will of course do a time lapse for you, so, 3, 2, 1. Nothing was yours, or mine. There we go. <clears throat> Seven forty. Mm. I did not. I did not try to eat it as fast as possible. This was just me chilling, eating or watching uh, a video. <laughs> I think it's quite fast, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, we have eaten four meals. We have two hundred and fifty calories left. So one more small meal. So, see you in the next meal. Okay, boys. We have the last meal of the day. A very small one. It's just a protein pudding and two biscuits. So, uh, this is pure protein. This one has a little bit of fiber in it. Of course, I'm not hungry, but... We gotta eat to grow. And, uh, so I'm gonna eat this right now. I'm not gonna enjoy it. And then mm, I will talk to you after I eat this. Okay, that's all of the meals. A full day of eating with 5,000 calories. And here we have our final macro breakdown. As long as I hit my 
carbohydrate uh, goal and I hit at least 180 grams of protein, I'm happy. If I eat more, more than 200 grams of protein, it doesn't matter, but I don't have to hit 250 grams. Uh, as long as I hit above 180 grams of protein, that's more than enough when you eat 5,000 calories. Uh, so today we ate a bit more carbs. That doesn't matter. That just means tomorrow, since I ate more carbs today, I'm just gonna going to have a better workout with a better pump tomorrow. So nothing bad about that. And the other thing I want to talk about is you saw this for the eating compared to the previous one where I ate less food. Uh, this one I didn't eat as clean. There wasn't that much vegetables and fruits. We still had some, but uh, the thing about being a hard gainer and eating this much food, you can't eat too many vegetables because it fills me up and I won't be able to eat enough food. Which is why I drank the smoothie because it's easy to drink instead of eating food. And the one liter of chocolate milk. Just easy calories for me to get down. When I tell people how much I eat and compared to how small I am, they just say, Oh, you're so freaking lucky you can eat so much food. And I'm like, you think it's fun eating 5,000 calories every day. It's fun for one month and after that it's just, it just sucks so much. You have to force feed, you're not hungry. Uh, so for all of you guys who think it's fun to eat this much food, just try eating 5,000 calories every single day for two weeks. And then you'll see what I talk about. And the problem with my metabolism is that my body uh, adapts to the calories I eat very fast so I have to increase them all the time and for the last month and a half I have stopped at 85 kgs and I've tried to up my calories and it's been so freaking hard eating 5000 it's way too difficult <laughs> but I'm still doing it and hopefully I'm able to go a little bit up more in weight uh, because we're booking into January, even though I want to start cutting now, but our competition is in March. Yeah, and for those of you who don't know, I have a men's physique competition at the end of March in 2019, which is why I'm booking until January. Of course, since I have a very high metabolism, I can eat a lot of food on my bulk, and I can also eat, I can cut at like 3,500 calories. But since you have a high metabolism, you also get hungry faster when you're, when you're in a caloric deficit. So it doesn't mean that it's easy to cut. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's still difficult. Uh, also, uh, people are, can't you just eat shit? Just eat whatever you want, just eat ice cream, just eat candy. You could, but you would probably feel like shit because you're eating too much sugar. And of course you have the protein goal, which you need to hit. So you can't exactly eat whatever you freaking want, because then you won't hit your protein goal. Uh, and, and as well, if you eat a lot of sugar, your blood sugar goes up top and then it goes down and you feel like shit and then it goes up again. And yeah, so. That's why I try to keep it semi-clean, but uh, yeah. I think that's everything I want to talk about. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this full day of eating. Uh, at this stage, uh, I've never eaten so much food for this long of time as I'm doing right now. It's very difficult, but we're getting it done. And I hope some of you guys, if you're in the same situation as me, maybe you learn some new meals or uh, found some support, someone who goes through the same thing as you do. Uh, and with that said, please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe button if you're new here and see you in the next video.